right, this is my uh, RC Explorer SE David Wiedenstahl version 2.5 tricopter. I got a Hobby King uh, version 2 KK board on there that I have uh, flashed with the XX Control Multicopter uh, KR version uh, 2.4 uh, for the tricopter. I'm going to use a uh, Hobby King uh, six channel receiver 2.4 gigahertz with a Turnigee 9X uh, uh, transmitter. I've got uh, on the end, I've got the uh, Hextronic DT 700s, not the 750s, but the 700s. I had a few spares from a B17 uh, plane that we bought from Hobby King. And then the yaw mechanism that I have uh, built is uh, exactly David's uh, contraption using the, uh, the Hobby King, uh, sorry, the, 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 the steering arm uh, combination pieces. I actually ended up buying them at Hobby Parts because Hobby King was out of stock. And I've got a, uh, a Turnigy metal, uh, metal Gear servo here. Oh, there we go. The TGY 53317 Metal Gear. Um, so that's the the whole layout of the copter. Uh, I still have to do landing gear. I have to do uh, the props and uh, cut the, the shafts on the motors down a little bit. Um, I've got plush, actually not plush, uh, but Century, uh, the Turnigy Century. Uh, 18 amp uh, ESCs, but I cut off the balancing plug and set them up for lipo. Uh, sorry, for nickel metal hydrides so that they are uh, won't cut off. And I still have to get a buzzer mechanism that will warn me of the low battery setting. And once I have that, I I think I'm 99% there. Uh, all I have to do now is figure out how. Uh, how I fly the thing and how I set it up with my Turnigy 9X. So uh, hopefully I'll have more to share soon.